Hi everyone, it's Vicki and welcome to my channel and today I have a fashion unboxing. I'm really excited to get into this box because I was very um, impressed with the um, preview and so I'm just dying to see it. I actually have it all right here and dying to, you know, get my fingers on everything. So, um, but I will be patient and see that it comes with the style sheet which they've made much improvements over this because back in the day it didn't have quite as much information on it. Not even the price, you had to go to the app. So this is really nice. So it says that um, my total of all my items is $331.25. If I keep three items, and it looks like I have eight, I keep three out of the eight, I get a 25% discount. And that would be $82.75 on the total. I guess it depends on what three you kept. Uh, which would bring the total box down to $248.25. So $250 for eight pieces. Seems like a good deal. So let's see what else they have to say to me today. They say, try everything on in the comfort of your home. Buy what you like, send back the rest. Use the prepaid mailer. Return the items you don't want. It says, if you need an exchange, call us and we'll get you set up with the right size. And tell us what you think, which basically is the feedback. So let's get started. So I did ask for cardigans, a navy and black. And I was so worried the way I wrote it, I was going to get a navy and black cardigan. <laughs> but I wanted a navy and black. Now, if you watch my videos, you know I bought a very nice Bobo, kind of a spendy navy cardigan from Trunk Club quite a while ago. And sadly, <laughs> I was in, I'm trying to remember if it was Valley Forge or Gettysburg. It's Gettysburg in Pennsylvania. I was in Pennsylvania a few weeks back and I left it in the gift shop, the bookstore. And when I thought about it, when to get it, it was gone already. So anyway, so now I'm on the market for another uh, navy cardigan and I have never found a new black cardigan. So that's in here too. Very excited. The navy looked particularly scrumptious in the picture so and it is our first item on top and here it is it is by Verba Me and let's see it has some work some design on this part that comes down the what do you call this I can't remember what you call it I know what you call it. I just can't think and then that same design on the him. Oh, look, it's got a big slit. Oh, wait a minute. How does this thing work? Oh, I see. It's, um, here's the back, but then it falls down. It has a longer front. So, sort of a high-low, or in this case, a low-high, I don't know, sweater. It's very soft. It's not really a navy. It's a dark, darker blue, but it's not really a navy, although it could pass. It would work, let's say. Um, but it feels just a little bit heavy, maybe. Um, I buy these cardigans not to wear outside in the fall. I wear them to wear in the office or a restaurant where people jack up the air conditioning in Florida. So I'm excited to give that a try. Next is something with like a chiffon. Oh, it is the black cardigan. Oh, wait, the blue cardigan. is $40 and it says it's a size 1x with a retail price of 58 1x huh I like mine kind of big I hope this works and it is 72% rayon 28% polyester and it feels divine so <clears throat> I really like it but it worries me that it's a 1x okay so now back to the black one which is Oh, it's also a 1X, and it's a Cirrus brand. And let's see, it has a tag on it, a Cirrus tag. doesn't have a price on the tag. It says the Cirrus Mixed Media Pleat Cardigan is $35. Seems like a good price. But yes, this is much lighter. This is probably, oh, I've got it backwards here. <clears throat> this is probably much better, um, Ooh, the arms look a little small. Um, probably much better fabric for Florida. Oh, look. It's 
Very pretty with the pleats. I like that. And they're just real light. And the warmth is in your arms and your chest. I like that, actually. Because your bum, my bum doesn't get cold. Okay, next is a pair of, are they jeans? Let's see. D jeans, modern fit, size 18W, Capri Plus. I guess they got stretched because they look smaller. And what color are they? They're pretty dark. Let's see, it says D jeans plus high waist skinny jean capri, $36. What does it say here? D jeans, super dark rinse, 18W. Oh, 18. No, I usually wear a 20. Um, I'm looking at this picture here, and it. I don't think I'm going, well, you know what? I'm going to reserve judgment, but I'll try them on. Next is something in hot pink. Everybody likes to send me hot pink. Oh, and this is by Bobo. And a 1X again. And this, okay, this is one fabric on the front and a different, a t-shirty fabric on the back, but more of a, I don't know what the front is, <laughs> rayon or something. It, uh, let me see what it says, if I can find the tag. Exterior is 60% rayon and 40 poly. The other is 95% rayon and 5 spandex. So this is rayon and span. No, this is rayon and spandex, and this is poly and rayon. So, and you can see it has a tie at the bottom, right here, and then it has this ruffle sleeve that goes all the way down. So it looks big enough, even though it's not my size. And I dropped something on the floor. Oh, let me see the price. It is the Bobo Plus V-neck flutter sleeve top for $34. The next item, now this feels like all poly. And it's uh, two layers. Navy blue and kind of off-white. It is by Fever in a 1X again. I think they've changed my sizing. <laughs> um, let's see what this says. I think this is Plus Printed Lace Up Sleeveless Tunic for $34. Yes, it does lace up. I think that's pretty cute. Now, my dilemma with it is that when you live in a humid, hot climate like I do, when you have these sleeveless tunics and you want to wear them with shorts or whatever in the summer, you don't want them to be polyester. I am not a polyester hater. I'm open to all fabrics. In fact, I think some dresses like and some shirt, you know, different articles of clothing, the cut on them works better with certain fabrics. And I would say like today I'm wearing a wrap dress. And I would say that a jersey, poly, wool kind of fabric would work way better than a straight out cotton or rayon, which uh, I don't think would fall the same way. I think it would go flat. So I'm not a polyester hater. I don't want to give that impression. Uh, however, if I'm going to wear summer re clothes for outside, polyester isn't the way to go. And this is 100% poly. But you know what? It's awfully cute. And I could wear it to work. With navy pants so I'm going to give it a try and keep an open mind next item what is it it's got grommets see the grommets oh that's on a sleeve okay I get it that's a cute way to do it um, very very soft like t-shirt material this is from cable and gauge I'm reading upside down and a 1x And let's see, does it say anything else about it? I'm gonna guess it's rayon and spandex. Let's see. Let's see how good if I if I got this down yet. Probably not. Okay, so here it is. It is 90 uh, no 95% viscose and 5% uh, spandex. Um first impression, a little matronly looking. I don't know if this this kind of looks 
you know, supposed to be an edgy design, but when you look at the fabric and the boxiness of it, it seems a little matronly, although I do like the colors of it. So let's see what it says. Cable and gauge plus size floral medallion printed tee for $36. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, now this fabric reminds me a little of something, of a top that I bought from Wonderful with the waist laces up. Fab or design's different, but oh, it's the dress. It's a dress, okay. It is by Rachel Roy. Maybe this will be my Rachel Roy. I've had that in a few boxes. <laughs> I've never picked my Rachel Roy items. Maybe this is the time, huh? And it's in a 2X, so it's in the size I'm accustomed to wearing. Uh, oh, yeah, it doesn't look that big. It narrows in a lot. It's got a long. I think it might be a bit of a high-low or something. There's something different about this waistline. Oh, okay. Okay. So the waistline goes to a V, and then there's this piece sewn on. I don't know. You tell me if you think that this looks right. I mean, you can see where the fabric's folded. I don't know. Uh, Rachel Roy, it says the retail price is $119. Okay, let's see what it says here. Rachel Roy plus floral dress for $58. So it's quite a bit less than what the suggested retail price was. And then I guess this is the last one. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> this is out of crepey fabric, but it's not the creepy crepey. <laughs> it's the better crepey, I think. And it is a blue and black dress, and it just seems to be a lot of it. Let's see if I can figure this dress out. Okay. It is by Taylor. I have quite a few things made by Taylor. And it's in, oh, it's an 18W. And look at these pretty sleeves. It's got a nice big rounded neckline. I, I hope it's not too low cut, but look at the sleeves. I think they're pretty. And they're trimmed. It's really pretty. I like cobalt blue. And I like cobalt blue and black together. So let's see. Okay, and it's got a, um, a bow that goes, or a tie that goes around it. And it has Oh, okay, got two layers of dress here. What's going on? I got two layers in the front. Oh, it's across, kind of like a wrap. And then it's got a layer of lining. So let's see if we can figure out what this dress is made out of. 97% polyester, 3% spandex. Now that was the inside piece. I don't know if it's all the same. I'm thinking yes. And this is called Plus Floral Fit and Flare. Girl loves a fit and flare. It's also 58. It looks so much better in person than the picture. So let's go try it on. I can't wait. See you in a minute. Okay, I have on the first dress. And it is the Rachel Roy, Roy Plus Size Floral Dress for $58. It's the one that has a tag for $119. Um, it has this weird cut waist. It starts here and then the seam comes down and then meets and that's where it has that piece of fabric that's sewn on top and you can see where it's folded and sewn which is weird. Um, you'll see that it has an uneven hemline. It has a point. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. I think you can probably tell by the things I've said that I don't really care for it. Um, it's a little bit of a party dancing, go salsa dancing dress. Uh, I don't live that kind of lifestyle. Although, it sounds fun. But anyway, so here's the last look at this dress. Okay, let's try the sweaters on with this dress since it is sleeveless. I thought that would be the easiest. Okay, here's the one I really think is adorable. It is the black, the mixed media pep on please fit. Okay, um, the arms are a little snug. Well, they're not snug. They are definitely well fitted. <laughs> 
but they're okay. They're fine. And let's see, I like, even though I don't cross over or, you know, button a, a cardigan, I do like to know that it kind of meets. I don't like having something that looks like this, and it only goes this far. <laughs> so this does. So it does fit, even though it's a 1X. So here it is. You can see it's a light black and I'm looking at reflection and a glass cabinet and I think it's cute from what I see I'll go look in the bathroom when I change but I think I like it let me try the blue one now this is this one's nice and light so it's just enough to take the chill off from air conditioning but it's definitely not something if you live in North Dakota that I would wear in December probably. Probably a no. Okay, this is the Bobo. And I think both cardigans are the same price. No, this one's 40 and that one's 35. Okay, this is Pointel, Bourbon Me Plus Pointel cardigan. I think it's Pointel the kind of weave this is. Okay, this is a traditional just weave here, you know, just cable or whatever it's called but this is fancy and then you can see how it has where it comes down right here straight here and it comes down here let's see if it has the meat test kind of yeah it's not bad actually it isn't bad i thought with a one x it wasn't gonna fit is it supposed to bend over or <laughs> fold over or goes straight up I don't know but um, this is it okay I am now sporting the plus floral fit and flare dress uh, for $58 as well and I really like this dress. Look at these cute sleeves. It has this um, flutter here. Although I don't think it needs that with the bow too. It's a lot going on down there. And I do like it, but it's too small. It's too tight around the middle and the abdomen. I don't know how it looks in the back, but I'm sure it's tight like all in here. It just feels wrong. Does anyone know what I mean when I say something? feels wrong. It, even though I can get into it, it doesn't feel like everything's falling where it should or laying the way it should. It feels kind of pulley in some areas. But it's very cute and I think I would certainly tell my stylist that this would be a good one for my next box and one size up. What do you think? Check out my sleeves. Okay, I am wearing the Lace Up Sleeveless Tunic for $34 and the D Jeans Plus High Waist Skinny Jean Capris for $36. So they're a very good price. They're super tight. Um, they're just not my style. I don't like the ones that are just really tight below the knee and then they appear to balloon up or something. I don't know. They're not my favorite style. I really liked the top when I pulled it out. I still like it, but I think I don't like it as much on me as I envisioned how it might look. But I think it's cute. I thought, well, maybe because it's a size too small, everything is a size smaller than I wear except that black dress but really I mean it's not too tight it's not fitting tight anywhere usually maybe in a little bit larger size maybe it's a little longer this is you know cover good coverage here so I don't know I like it though pretty much I think uh, it would go I think I could wear it Oh, 
These aren't real pockets. <laughs> they are not real pockets. Oh, the back of the pants. Oh, I forgot to show the pants, didn't I? Back of the pants. Oh, that has real pockets. Uh, front of the pants. I have to kind of keep tugging them so I don't lose them. <laughs> but they're pretty tight, so even if I did like them, I would. I don't know if I'd wear this size. Really like my pants that tight. So, anyway, this is my first blouse, uh, and there's two more to go. Okay, back with the same capris, but I have put the uh, V-neck flutter sleeve top on for $34. And you can see the flutter goes all the way down, and then it has a tie down here so and buttons, so it's pretty busy in the front. And then the back is more like a t-shirt material. My husband said it was okay. Uh, and which is actually a good statement because he doesn't like anything that's, he's traditional more. So this is all weird to him. <laughs> so if he thought it was okay. I'll lean in close so you can kind of get an idea of the color. It's a very bright pink. Whoa, I almost lost my balance there. And all I had to drink was milk for dinner. Okay, last item. Cable and gauge plus floral medallion printed tee for $36. And it has this grommet up here and an open sleeve and then a grommet here. And the fabric is pretty colors and very soft. But I stick to my original assessment. I think it's a little matronly looking. I thought maybe I was wrong when I got it on. It would look better. But not feeling it, not seeing it. Um, you tell me if I'm wrong, but it just... Yeah, I know I'm 60, but I don't want to dress that way. <laughs> you tell me what you think. Maybe I'm being too hard on it. Okay, I'm back after a try on, and it is time to find out what items are going to go back in the bag and what items are going to go on the hanger. What do you predict? So, the first item is the blue cardigan. And uh, I think it fits okay. I'm concerned about it being a little heavy. Um, I think maybe I'll just set it aside for a minute. Give it a second thought. Just think about that a little longer. The next item are the jeans. The Well, they're really capris. And they are too tight. What size are they? 18W. Um, but I don't really think that I need them. And I'm not cray-cray about them. So they're going to be the first item in the bag. The next item is the blue... This is not blue, this is black. It's the black cardigan. And it's a bit sheer like that, it's light, but it is perfect and it is going on the hanger. I love it. And it literally will have to go on a hanger because of the bottom, the mixed media part. This is not something I can shove in the drawer like I do all my other cardigans. Nope, this one's going to be a little prissier than that. Isn't that isn't that cute? Look at the flow. I love it. So, it's almost like a dress. And you know I like a dress. So, next item is this top. Nice and soft, pretty colors, interesting grommet design, but I think it just reads older than me. Well, it probably doesn't. It reads older than I feel. How's that? So it is going in the bag. Next item is the bobo pink top with the flutter sleeves. Kind of up and down on it, but I think overall, I think it would be a nice addition to my wardrobe. So it is going on the hanger as well. Next item is the polyester top. Um, I like this. I wish this was rayon. This would be super cute in a rayon, but still, I think I'm going to keep it, and so I am going to put it on the hanger. So two tops, 
and one sweater. So I got my three for my discount. And the next item is this dress, which I really, really like. Okay, if I can get to it, it's a lot of dress here. Um, I do really like this dress, but I think it's the wrong size. I think fashion probably sized down on everything because maybe did I was my last box everything too big maybe? I'm not sure. I don't remember. I have to go look, but um, this is definitely too tight around the abdomen. And I think I'm going to ask them instead of doing an exchange just to see if they can put it in the next box for me. So, uh, and because I've got my three, so I don't need it for a discount. And if they can't, then it wasn't meant to be. So, item number three. This beautiful dress. My favorite item in the whole thing. Well, I don't know. The black sweater is pretty cool, too. In the back. And the last item is this dress, which I don't think was at all flattering on me. Maybe the top was nice. And I have to say, this is super, super comfortable. Super. It's pretty soft, but it's super comfortable when you have it on. But I just don't like the way the waistline was cut. And uh, so it is going in the bag. So that leaves me with my unsure item. And that is the blue cardigan. I don't know. You know what? It is pretty cute. And I do need one, but it's not really navy. Ah, I'm so torn on this one. And I don't have enough time to get your feedback because fashion's a three day turnaround. And I'm a slow editor because I say all kinds of junk you don't want to hear that I have to cut out. Um, how much was this one again? It's $40. The other one's $35. That's a good price. I mean, the ones from Bobo were $78, I think. Well, you know what? I need a blue one, so I'm going to keep it because I'm not going to gamble. <laughs> it's not that I don't like it. It's just I was thinking it might be just a little bit heavy. But you know what? We do have somewhat of a winter here. We do have times when I could wear wear it like outside so it's not going to go to non-use so I think I will also put this on a hanger oops I'm out of hanger so I have to put it on so there we go so now I have four items and I will see about the resizing of the dress I want to thank you for watching my videos I please hope I hope that you will please like and subscribe give me the thumbs up um, and somewhere there's a bell about getting notifications of new videos and be sure to watch for a wax un um, unboxing because I have a little bit of an announcement in that so keep your eyes peeled for that it'll probably be up within the next week so thank you again for watching and if you're new here welcome